I went to the movies over the weekend, Anthony. I went... What'd you see? One of these hugely popular movies? Well, maybe someone could help me out. I uh, I read a couple of reviews, and I love this actor. And uh, actually, there were a lot of actors in this movie that I really, really enjoy. So I said, "Hey, eh, sure, why not?" I went and saw Life Aquatic. Why you with, saw that in the movie theater with Bill Murray and uh, Owen Wilson and uh, Willem uh, Dafoe is in it. Uh huh. Kate um, Blanchett. Yeah, a bunch of people and uh, and uh, I sat there for the two hours and um, I don't really know what I saw and it's getting really good reviews so I'm starting to think I'm really just stupid. Yeah, I really don't understand what I saw. At this point, I, think, I asked you what the movie was about. Yeah. I really don't know. I, I think Wes Anderson. I think he. It's another one of uh, his movies. I think this guy should be assassinated at this point. <laughs> Stop throwing these movies out out there at us. Did, did you ever see the Royal Tenenbaums, Anthony? Yep. Uh, what was that movie about? I have no clue. Didn't get it. Don't care about it. Rushmore, you almost got. He wrote that as well. Almost. And uh, I think he the was. The Village. Did he write The Village? No. Did not write the villains. And, and I think he also wrote uh, Bottle Rocket, which was the movie that made Owen Wilson a star, which was kind of cool. I just hate Owen Wilson. Really? You do? Uh, uh, he looks like every guy that has ever banged a girl at his day. Yeah, I hate him. Hate him. Really? Well, you have a reason then. Yeah. Well, All Life right. Aquatic. Saw it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, li the genre alone should tell you something. Action, adventure, comedy, sci-fi, fantasy. Ooh. That's what genre it is? Does about, that make sense? I guess. How about we just make it a comedy? Okay. How about we just make it a comedy, Wes? No, action, Wes adventure, comedy, sci-fi, fantasy. Wes, who has to be too cool for the room? Mm-hmm. Internationally famous oceanographer Steve Zissou, Bill Murray, and his crew set sail on an expedition, expedition to hunt down the mysterious, elusive, possibly non-existent jaguar shark that killed... Zissou's partner during the documentary filming of their last adventure. So that's the movie? Yeah. They're joined by a young airline co-pilot who may or may not be Zissou's son. Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. A beautiful journalist, Kate Blanchett, assigned to write a profile of Zissou. And Zissou's estranged wife and co-producer, Angelica Houston. They face overwhelming, overwhelming complications, including pirates, kidnapping, and bankruptcy? I guess. Some of the scenes were funny. Yeah. But the movie in general, I'm like, what are they getting at here? What are they trying to say? You saw this, huh? Yeah. Well, because I was, you know, reviews were coming in saying, oh, you got to see this movie. It's great. I saw a trailer for it and had no ambition to go see this. Well, I love Bill Murray, man. Bill Murray's just... I loved Bill Murray. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You didn't see Lost in Translation? Ugh. Yeah, but that wasn't... You Did know, you like it? It wasn't a comedy, really. True. I just like... Uh, Pretty much everything that Bill Murray's in, he does uh, a good job. I wasn't job watching that movie for Bill Murray, that's for sure. No. Well, I Scarlett don't know. Johansson. Yeah, she was just she's absolutely the, stunning in that she's movie. She's the hottie du jour. Right. I don't know. I didn't like that movie either. Lost in Translation. No. I wanted to like it because it was like kind of different, but it was just about a boring guy who hangs out with a boring chick and they don't bang. It's like, well, that's my life. <laughs> I don't need to watch him do it. <laughs> Andreas. Or Andre, or uh, or whatever your name is. Who's this? Oh, hey, how you guys doing? What's your name, man? James, what's happening? James. Really? Um, You're spelled James, A-N-D-R-E-A-S. -E especially you, you know, the, the critics are always the worst guys, you know. They, they don't know what's good movies, you know. You, they, they fall for suckers when there's a bunch of top-name actors in it. They always say, oh, it's a great movie, it's a great movie. Yeah. Always the worst. Royal Tenenbaums. You know, I, I haven't been to the movies. No, you guys Take it easy. All right. He I haven't, wasn't listening to I you. Know. I haven't been to the movies lately, so I'm thinking, you know what? I think I need to go to the movies. Yeah, but why go see that? Because I went to my local theater, and that was playing. I'm like, all right. I heard this movie's pretty good. I like Bill Murray. I'll go see it. That's why. It was it was the movie that just happened to be playing when I walked into the uh, theater there, Anthony. I want to go to RottenTomato.com because I should have went there. Because they give all the reviews for all the movies. It's, ah. it's the best website as far as getting movie reviews. They take all the main newspapers across America, throw all the reviews up there, and then, then you could like gauge if it actually is going to be a good movie or not. Figure it out. Yeah, because you know, the New York Times could give Life Aquatic four stars, and then uh, Newsday or The Post could give it one. So you know what I mean? you got to average it out. you got to average it out, which this mm -hmm. website does. Um, Did you see Ray? Huh? No. Did you see Ray? 
You did? I, I loved it. Yeah, I I loved it. I didn't say it. I really did. That's man. another one I want. You know something? I It has to be some... The movie, if I go to the movie theater, has to be that you have to see it on a huge screen, which only, to me, is only like action-adventure type movies. Right, right. Anything else like Ray, I'll wait till it comes out and watch it on television. Oh, I, saw I don't to see those big... Jimmy Fox teeth or whatever his name is. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie Fox. Fox. Here you go. Big Jamie Fox teeth on the screen. Wow, the teeth are ten feet tall. I love this. But you know, you see an action movie, you want to see you want it big and loud. Uh, Ray. It was good though. I really I was I didn't want to like it as I much. I hear as I it's did. good. I'm just pissed that he's in something that is getting critical acclaim because he's awful. I'll rock your world. That's who he is. Wow. He's Shanene. Wasn't that him? Yeah. A Wanda was the girl's name. Yeah, he Wanda. Played the character. Oh, was it? I rock your world. All right. Um, and then he comes up and does this, you know, and, and gets all critical acclaim for a dramatic role. Oof. Really fast. Uh, Are we there yet? Which is the number one uh, movie in America. Just proves there's just a bunch of dopes in America. Yep. Uh, the rating is ten percent. Basically on RottenTomatoes.com. Yeah. That means you get you take all the reviews across America, and this movie got 10% good ratings. Or good reviews, I should say. And uh, and this review says, doesn't even have the wit to be energetic, funny, or humane en route to being inane, irritating, and corrosive. <laughs> corrosive. How is something corrosive? <laughs> these people get really pissed off when the, oh. these reviewers get really pissed off when they see uh, an awful Thank movie. Thank you, sir. All right, Anthony, I found uh, the reviews for... Washing it in the bathroom. He's probably going to use his own urine. He's got to wash it. Wash it. <laughs> All right, here's the problem. I had to go wash the can. <laughs> Here's the problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Life Aquatic on RottenTomatoes.com, uh, which is that you really got to check out this website before you go see a movie, okay? Yeah. Um, 140 reviews, Anthony. Fresh, meaning, you know, the reviewers liked it. 70. Rotten, 70. It's right down the middle. That's uh. the problem. That's the problem. Uh, smug and slow moving. Who cares about Steve Zuzu? For Anderson, it is all about the boat, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I didn't see the movie. Your whimsy tolerance will be tested in this movie. I don't think I have whimsy tolerance. What That's, is it? I am intolerant to all whimsy that crosses my path. I don't like whimsy. I hate reviewers that have to be too cool for the room, yeah. too. They all do. I hate whimsy Americans. San Francisco whimsy. writes, Though it looks like a Wes Anderson film, it doesn't feel like one. Next time, try not to play kowtow to your whimsy. <laughs> Wasn't that what Mr. Marshall said to Ralph? Something like that. Mr. When, he, when he sat on in, in oh, Mr. Yeah. Marshall's seat and he walked in and he goes, I just want to see what it was like to be the boss. Well, next time, try not to play kowtow to your whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marshall, what a prick boss. Yeah. Right. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, whimsy. Yeah, that's what happens when it's, uh, you know, the wind blows. It gets whimsy. Out. Oh, yeah. whimsy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't have any hair to mess up. <laughs> um, Anthony, here's the cream of the crop of the uh, reviewers. Village Voice writes, it's a collage of half measures. It's a collage of half measures. What the F does that mean? Who said that? The Village Voice. The Village Voice says, it's a collage of half measures. What? Well, collage means that a bunch of fags read this magazine, so let's mm. use a word they'll like. I never went to collage. <laughs> <laughs> what are you... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. Thank, thank you, sir. All right. Uh, Boston Globe. The film's meta fay title alone is an example of why <laughs> some people adore Anderson and why he drives others absolutely crazy. What does that mean? meta fay M-E-T-A dash F-E-Y. meta fay right? What the hell does that mean? I don't know. meta -fay. I don't like reading stuff to feel stupid, especially movie reviews. It's not like I'm picking up a... Book on physics. See, why did I read this stuff? I would have never seen this movie. USA Today. It's sporadic droll moments. Tempt one to view it with a charitable eye until patience is exhausted by the end. That's exactly how I felt. <laughs> My patience is exhausted. <laughs> I was finally exhausted. Uh, vastly disappointing. An uneasy mixture of characters and events. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. I can't recommend it, but I would not for one second discourage you from seeing it. Roger Ebert. <laughs> Good old Roger. Talking about the movie or me vomiting? 
<laughs> Monarchy. I would, uh, like, I would like you to go see Old Puddinhead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I liked? Munaki over Miami. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Daily news. All right, we'll end with this. Shoot uh, the Munaki. <laughs> we'll end with this. Life Aquatic. If there's anything more tiresome in film today than hip irony, it is forced irony. And here comes a boatload. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right. Okay. I should have went there, man. RottenTomatoes.com, if you guys have never checked out that website for movie uh, reviews. It's uh, it's it's great. Uh, let's see. Uh, Big Kev has movie suggestions for everybody. Oh, oh. Big Kev. Yo. What's up, buddy? I, I was just wondering, uh, you guys are talking a lot about movies, and, and there's a movie out there that I think you guys would like, particularly Anthony. Yes. It's about a guy who makes millions of dollars in the entertainment industry. He's really into... Uh, aviation, aeronautics, and new technology, and he slightly goes crazy and neurotic about, you know, germs and other ah, things and things. And yes. I'm wondering why you guys didn't see that. I happen to think that was a great movie. I would have seen, if I was at the movies and that was playing, it wasn't playing. I would have seen Kat. that. I would see I, The Aviator in the a aviator. second. The yeah. Aviator. I've seen it twice. It's great. Is it that good, really? Yeah, really. Is he? I, I had no interest in seeing it. I, I don't know why. I like him, but I just I really didn't want to see it. Life Aquatic. 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 Was the only movie that was playing at the time I walked into my local movie theater, Kev. And what is that movie about? The Life Aquatic? Yeah. It's about Wes Anderson making films with lots of people that he's friends with. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt, man. Everybody was in that movie. Yeah, I, I didn't I'm like that done with, I'm so like done with Wes Anderson. Because as soon as the movie was over, it said written and directed or whatever, Wes Anderson. I said, that's why. Now I understand. That, now I understand. My lack of understanding. Right. The Royal Tenenbaums. What the F was that about? Soap. Huh? It's probably not a good idea to go cold. I read a I read a review. It was in I don't know the poster. One of these, you know, maybe a magazine. It said, "Hey, uh, get, you know, getting good reviews and three, four stars. Murray, uh, Murray's excellent in this movie." I'm like, "All right, yeah. I'll go see it." Yeah. Now you guys should definitely check out the Aviator. Honestly, if I knew it was Wes Anderson, I would not have gone. And we will see the Aviator. Thank you. Kevin. Is that yeah. better than Ray, Kev? Uh, I liked it better than Ray. Yeah, as a biop movie, yeah, I thought it was much better. I think a good movie, a movie would be Ray flying planes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? He's all blind, moving his head around. Where's the airport? <laughs> I'd watch that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Can you imagine care. Ray flying a plane? <laughs> 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 He'd probably use a hanger, like the type I hang my jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I'm big. Humph, humph, MMR. Big boned. Body to match. <laughs> <laughs>